She is the young teenage girl who died after suffering a severe allergic reaction to a sesame seed in a Pret-a-Manger baguette. Since then, Natasha Ednan Laparouse's parents have campaigned for change in the food industry. Change they want to help save the lives of other allergen sufferers. OK, so this is the shop of our Verdi shop in Victoria. Right. Uh, it's a busy place. Bretta Manger is now the first major retailer to make that change. Clive Schlee is its chief executive. You know, it's, it's, this is pretty significant, isn't it? It's the you? biggest change we've made in our production for 30 years. He showed me the new ingredients labels that will now be stuck on every pre-prepared item of food in every shop across the country. Speaking for the first time since Natasha's death, he told me of the profound impact it had had. What happened was, was terrifying and terrible, so it did affect me. What was it like listening to the written testimony of her last few moments? I think it was the worst period of my life. It's been, I mean, the last six months have been an intense period of change, and uh, they have been tough, but I'm pleased that we're making those changes. But it's industry-wide change her parents want, a demand they took to the Environment Secretary Michael Gove, who's promised new legislation. They want all prepackaged food prepared on site to have a full list of ingredients, including allergens. Pret is now doing that. It's also introducing tablets with menu and allergy information. Over 70 of its recipes have been changed to take out allergens, and it'll share reports and updates throughout the year, as well as better train its staff to raise allergy awareness. Do you think that pret a manger would have changed had there not have been a, a, one of your customers had died? I think the, uh, the shock of something like that generates change. I think that's well known. So that shock did generate a big change. In response, Natasha's family said, we hope the entire industry steps up to the mark and supports our call for full ingredient and allergen labelling in pre-packaged food because no family should ever have to suffer the pain, anguish and dreadful death of a child as we did. Campaigners say there's no excuse for retailers not to print labels. The whole experience of Pret has really put the frighteners on a lot of people and it has just brought the whole subject to the surface. You know, it should have been done a long time ago and it's absolutely right that it's being done now. A government consultation on whether to force outlets to list ingredients is due back soon. Only then will we know whether others will follow in Pret's footsteps.